So in this video, we're going to check out some of the awesome features with the new InstaBuilder 2.0. The first thing is it has a new user interface, slick design. You're absolutely going to love this responsive and mobile ready templates, simple drag and drop visual editor, two step opt in technology. But not only that, I'm going to introduce to you the three step opt in technology never before seen a questions opt in. You drag this element in, you add questions on the fly. It's got a welcome gate built in image editor. But what if I told you that you could do a search inside of InstaBuilder 2.0 and it would bring in the exact image you're looking for completely royalty free and you don't have to pay those premium prices for your stock images built in marketing graphics. So now you can actually edit those images on the spot. Scarcity Builder is going to help you with your sales and conversions, advanced statistic and analytic features so you know exactly which pages are performing best all the split testing you need so that you can really find your winning pages and you can scale things up exit pop-ups countdown timers fully customizable probably the most premier countdown timers on the internet social sharing notification bars you can convert the whole entire template over to html simple combo elements that makes creating these pages extremely easy and probably the best part Suzanne and her team offer top-notch support. They care about your success. They listen to your feedback and based on your suggestions, new features are added all the time. So if you're ready, let's check out how easy, flexible, and extremely powerful the new InstaBuilder 2.0 really is. Okay, so I'm on the back end of WordPress. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page. I'm gonna go ahead and call this my page. And over on the far right side, we have this little box here that says Enable InstaBuilder. I'm going to go ahead and click this. It turns to green. We're going to click this button here. And as soon as we do, you see that we are now entering the InstaBuilder module. Here we have the option to choose from different templates. So if I pull this down, you'll see that we have Sales Pages, Squeeze Pages, look at these designs, Launch Pages, webinar pages coming soon pages and we have pages that fit in various categories there's over a hundred different templates for you to choose from now that's just a start because if i come back through this menu and we'll look at sales pages now you have the subtype so if we look here we can have a sales page for text a video sales page hybrid sales page you can even do an oto sales page if we come to the squeeze pages we have the same thing we pull this menu down here. We have text squeeze pages, video squeeze pages, mini squeeze pages, and you can go ahead and click on these. You can see exactly what they look like. Here's the three-step opt-in I was talking to you about. But remember, these are just templates. This just gives you somewhere to start with. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a sales page that I want to work with. And so I can scroll through here and I can simply find one that I'm comfortable with. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here, or I have the option to create from scratch. Now you see that we have the actual sales page itself right here on the screen. Now the way InstaBuilder is set up, it is set up simple one, two, three. You create your element, you edit that element with different variables, and you save it. It really is that easy. Now, let me show you how easily we create these elements. Again, look at the screen here because it is so simple. You're going to get these pages up in no time at all. That's the key. We want to make sure that it's easy and we've given you complete power with InstaBuilder 2.0. So if I come over here, these are my elements. So I have title elements, text elements, images, video, box elements, horizontal lines, countdown timers, buttons, opt-in forms, three-step opt-in, comments, social sharing, columns, tab content, navigation, today's date, questions, HTML boxes, and then there's even some options down here. So you can bring in custom images. There's places where you can drop your short code, and then there's some settings here. Everything is here that you guys need. Now, this is how easy this is. I'm gonna work with existing elements just to kind of show you. The element is on the screen. I'm gonna click it once. As soon as I do, this little box opens up. Now, as you can see down here, there's a little edit icon. I'm gonna click this. And now you see the little WYSIWYG editor that's opened up. So there's not a pop-up where you have to go and change your font over here on the right-hand side or nothing like this. You just change it right here on the page. 
And then if we want to change the color of this, if we want to change the background color, whatever we want to do. If we want to make it bold, if we want to adjust it to the left, to the right, you have complete options with the WYSIWYG editor. Now let's say that we want this to be the blow of the video. No problem, we'll go ahead and drag it down and you see how fast it takes its place. There's nothing sitting here spinning on the screen. There's no rendering. That's why it's called InstaBuilder because it is instant. Now if we like this and we want it above the video again, let's go ahead and click this here. What we can do is we can go ahead and clone this element and then we'll go ahead and drag this one back up above the video. That's how easy it is. Now let's say that we want a sub headline below this. Let's go ahead and grab a text element. We'll drag it over and now you see that we have a sub headline. We click here, remember one, two, three, and let's go ahead and highlight this and we'll make it a color that we can see very easily. I'll make this white. Now we have a sub headline. We can simply click it change it out that's how fast it is all right it's awesome but i have so much to show you so next we'll come over here to the image element i'll go ahead and drop this image right here and we'll come over to the video here in just a minute i'm going to click this remember one two three i'm going to come over here to my settings and now you see that we have the ability to do something that you're not going to see anywhere else if you have an existing image rather than deleting your image and loading a new one what you can do is you can come over here and replace your existing image. Now that's pretty cool, but watch this. I pull this menu down and I have the ability to search for an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click search. Now this little window opens up. I'm gonna type in the word car. I'm gonna click go. And you see that it went and pulled in images that are royalty free, Pixel Bay, Wikipedia, um, let's see, image.com, flickr.com. Let's go ahead and choose this car here. So I'm gonna say use image. And you see that it's downloading the image and boom, there is the car. Notice it even brought it in with a transparent background. This is now an element, which means I can move this element wherever I want on the actual page itself. So that is extremely powerful. You don't have to go out there and buy stock photos anymore. You don't have to spend premium prices. InstaBuilder 2.0 will go out there and find these images for you, but you know what? I'm just getting started. Because remember, I also said that you can come over here, click this edit button, and with Avery, you can actually go and edit the image right here inside of InstaBuilder 2.0. Now, since this is an element, you can have this element where it is linkable, it is clickable. You can have it open up to another URL. You can have it to where when you click on this element, a pop-up box opens up. So much you can do here, guys. That's the images. Now, let's come over here to the videos. If I wanna go ahead and drag a video element in there, that's how fast it comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and delete my existing element. Let's go ahead and delete this one too. You see how fast we're making changes here and it is instant. I don't even have a great internet connection right now and it is still very fast. So our video element's in place. We're gonna click it. Remember, one, two, three, we're gonna come down here. We can bring in a YouTube video, Vimeo. We can even put in our own embed code. We come over here and then we have some options down below, simple options. We can click autoplay. We can disable the controls, everything you need for video. If I come over here, this allows you to very easily go and create boxes. So I drop the box. I come over here to my settings and we have some simple options. We can set our margin and padding. If we wanna change the background color of the box, we can very easily do that. If we wanna put borders on it, if we want it to have rounded corners, we can go ahead and round the corners. You have complete control over what you wanna do. But check this out. With every element, you can also add an effect. So look at all these animations. Blind, bounce, clip, drop, explode, forward, highlight, puff, pulsate, scale, shake, slide. So this will definitely get your viewers' attention, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this element. You guys are just getting the crash course here. And now horizontal lines, pretty self-explanatory. But again, you click it and you have some options available. Now let's go ahead and get rid of the video element for now so that you guys can clearly see what I'm working on. The next one is our countdown timer. Watch this. I want a timer right here. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna come over here to my settings. And now we have some awesome options. Something I've never seen before. Countdown timers are definitely a necessity for all your sales pages, opt-in pages. Every page you have in your funnel, you'll do better with countdown timers. So we come over here, we have our countdown setup. We can go ahead and put in our countdown type, the exact date and time, evergreen or cookie base. We can go ahead and put in the date and then we can have the format. 
And then we can go over here and we can set the actual hour slider as well as minutes. Pretty self-explanatory, but let's get to the real magic. I come down here to design and I have some options here. I have normal text like it is now, we're right here, or I could do flat box, or I could do glossy box, or we can do my favorite. I will use this countdown timer everywhere. We have circular. This countdown timer here is unlike anything you've ever seen before. If we want to choose the font face for our countdown timer, we can do it. If we want to choose the font color, let's go ahead and make it white. That works better for this page. We can do it. Beautiful designs. But if I don't want to use circular, let's say I want to use uh, fancy text or I want to use glossy box. Well, I can go ahead and change the color of the countdown timer as well. So you have complete control how it looks on your page. You can even change the border color. We can change the border style. So we want dash, dotted, double. We can do whatever we want to do. But check this out. When your countdown expires, meaning that it counts down to zero, well, you want something to happen. So we can set it up to where it does nothing. We can set it up to where the countdown timer just goes away. We can redirect the user to another URL, or we can actually have hidden content that will show up when this timer is expired. So you have complete controls. The countdown timers are awesome. Now, I'm going to come over here to the opt-in form. And let me just go ahead and get rid of, well, actually, we'll get rid of this guy right here. So I'm going to trash him. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my timer. This is how fast this happens, guys. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy right here. And now we have an opt-in form. This is very easy. I'm going to click this. We're going to come over here to our settings. And look here. We go and we put in our HTML code. We can come over here and we can specify our fields, our field background color, our field border color. Okay, so you have complete customization over your form options. We come over here, we can change the button type. Do we want a CSS button or do we want an image button? Yes, you can actually load your own images as well. You can put in a path or you can upload the image or you can use our pre-made buttons. All of these buttons are right here, ready for you to drop in your page. It really doesn't get better than that. And then, you guys are gonna love this. With one click, not only can we put them into our autoresponder, but we can also put them into our GoToWebinar account. So we can get these leads onto a webinar and we can make even more money. And we know how hot Facebook is today. So we can come over here, we can click this, and we can enable the Facebook option. Guys, there is so many features with InstaBuilder 2.0. So let's go ahead and delete this element real quick. And now we see that that is gone. Now I've got a couple more things to show you. Remember, I also said that there is a three-step opt-in. So if we bring this in, now this is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna delete my title, just so you get the idea of how this works. And now let's go ahead and make this white. Now you can clearly see it. Now, here is our headline. We have a button that says click here to find out. See this little arrow over here? I'm gonna click this, and as soon as I do, now we have a video element. So the video shows up after they click the button, but watch this. I come over here, I can now come over to my arrow again, and here is the actual opt-in form itself. And look how fast we can make changes. This here is the three-step opt-in. One-click integration, and you have three steps. And these are converting like crazy. Now, I'm going to show you a couple more things and then I'm going to wrap up this video because, guys, there is no possible way I could show you all the features with InstaBuilder 2.0. But the main thing is I want to emphasize how easy and how fast you can create pages with InstaBuilder 2.0. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And now what I want to do is I want to show you something that I really appreciate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag in a button element. Here is my button. 
I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna come over here to my settings. One, two, three. Here is our options over here. Now, obviously, we have full control over how this button's gonna look. We can change the button text. We can change the button style. Do we want a flat button? Do we want a glossy button? A lot of options available to you. If we wanna change all the colors, we can do that. Everything you would come to expect, but check this out. I open this up and I can put an icon on my button. And look how fast they're coming in, right? Now that's pretty cool, but that's not the real magic yet. I come over here to rounded corners, and we can go ahead and round the corners of our button. So now we have an oval button, but that there is not what I really want to show you. If I click this here that says target link, InstaBuilder 2.0 is doing something I've never seen before. This is a button. This drop down menu. Obviously, we know the button is going to take us to a new URL. But what if I told you that we can come over here and select pop-up and now we can have it to where when they click any button on any page, a pop-up light box will occur. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click edit pop-up. Here is the actual light box that's gonna appear. So we come over here and we drag in our title. Let's go ahead and center this title. That's how fast we do that. Let's go ahead and bring in some text and then maybe we wanna have an opt-in form. And boom, you are done. When they click the button, the opt-in form right here will open. Now guys, I think that is just the coolest thing in the world, and that right there, that one feature makes it worth it compared to any other page builder out there on the market because this one strategy right here can triple, quadruple, can send your income through the roof. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple more features here, and then I've got one more important thing to show you, and then I'm gonna show you the statistics, and then I'm gonna wrap up this video because I hate to make these videos as long as it is. Okay, so for right now, let's just go ahead and I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's change a template. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna click Change Template, and let's go ahead and pull in a squeeze page so you can see what these look like. I'll go with this squeeze page right here. Now see this little eyeball here? We can go ahead and preview this page. And we can actually look at it and see what it would look like on a mobile device. We can see what it would look like on an iPad. Lots of options available. If I come over to this here, look at all these settings we have. If we want an attention bar, we can click this here. And now we can enable the intention bar and check this out. See this bar up here at the top? You can come over here, you can customize your message, you can put in your link text, then we can put in a link URL. But guys, there's so much here. Pop-up settings, if you want to enable a pop-up, we come over here and we can say every time the page is loaded, just for the first time, once a day, once a week, once a month, once per browser session, there's so much you can do. We click edit pop-up, Here's that light box window. And we know that we can create a custom pop-up. We just drag in our titles, we drag in our opt-in form, and boom, that's how fast that happens. But we're not done just yet. Exit splashes. If we wanna enable an exit splash, we click this here, here's the message, here's where the URL goes to. Welcome gates, script codes, graphics. Watch this, I click on graphics. There are tons of graphics in the library. We've got bullets, arrows, buy buttons, highlights there is so much here guys i don't have enough time to show you all of the features the graphics and the benefits of using instabuilder 2.0 credit card icons check this out everything is here that you need it is unbelievable what is included with this package but if i come over here obviously i can save it but check this out if i come over here I can publish this to Facebook. I can publish this to HTML. I can even save this as a template so that I can go and open up this page later on. Now, that kind of covers this corner over here. We haven't even gotten into the split testing yet or the statistics, but I wanna show you something else that I absolutely love. If I come over here, this is a lead capture form, and obviously it's using the two-step opt-in. You don't see a form here, you just see a button. Watch this. You're gonna see something you've never seen before. I click this here. I come over here to my settings. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have full control over what I wanna do with this button. If I wanna change the highlight color, the button text, the button style, if I wanna make it round, if I wanna make it square, if I wanna change the target link, all that stuff is cool, okay? You already know you can do this, but watch this. I'm gonna click on the actual box itself. I'm going over here to my settings, and we can set our margin and padding, our background color, our background image, borders, rounded opacity and shadow, but look at this one. 
I can open up this one that says display delay and I can enable a display delay. What I can do is I can set it to where when this page opens up, they're going to wait, it's going to wait 15 seconds and then this box will display. So they're looking at this beautiful image and then all of a sudden, 15 seconds in, 10 seconds in, 5 seconds in, whatever you choose to do, this box right here will appear so that then they can go through the two-step opt-in process. Guys, that is what we call a pattern interrupt and the few tests we've done, they have converted like crazy. Awesome stuff included with InstaBuilder 2.0 that you are not going to find anywhere else. But watch this. <laughs> There's so much more here to show you. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the template one more time. And I'm going to come back over here to a sales page. And let's just go ahead and go with the same sales page real quick. So here's that template. Now, I know you guys have seen what we're calling the 3.0 designs. Those are the full width designs. And you see a bar going all the way across here. You see a bar going all the way across here. Full width. And you guys are probably wondering, how in the world are they creating those? Well, watch this. Come over here, see these three buttons at the top? We have section, wide section, and wide background box. Just to give you an idea, I'm gonna drag this section in here. We're gonna click this, one, two, three. Come over here to the settings, and we have our basic settings that opened up over here. Now, all this is looking familiar. Why? We want it to be easy for you, but look at this one. Come over here to background color, and we can set a transparent background color. We can go ahead and choose our background color or we can even put a picture here, or we can put a pattern behind here. And that's how you create those full width designs. Very simple to do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the statistics real quick, and then we're going to wrap up this video. So I'm gonna come over here to this drop down. I'm gonna say exit the editor. I'm not gonna save this page. And now we're back over here on the dashboard. Check this out, full statistics. I can see how many pages are unpublished, how many pages are published, my page views, my number of visitors. We have full statistics here. The visitor chart for the last two weeks. If we wanna add a new page, we can do that. This is really cool. Now, we're gonna keep you organized because let's say that you have one funnel that has a certain amount of pages in it. Well, you can come over here, you can create a new group and you can actually add your pages to that group so if we come down here you can see that we have all of these pages here that are not grouped so we can simply come over here and we can edit those pages we can change the permalink we can look at the stats for the individual page and we can come down here we can add it to the group save it as HTML remember what I said about the split testing we can come over here we can add a split test variation we can duplicate the page guys you will never find another page builder like InstaBuilder 2.0 and remember we're not done just yet there's new features being added all the time top-notch support you have a section here for the training videos FAQ section everything is here you are in great hands with Susanna and the rest of the InstaBuilder 2.0 team this here is the premier page builder and probably the last one you will ever need so do yourself a favor guys because I did not even hit the tip of the iceberg with this page builder it is an ultimate solution to sales pages, opt-in pages, webinar pages, thank you pages, download pages, you name it, it will handle it all at the click of a mouse. Just exactly what I showed you, that's exactly how it's gonna go. So scroll through the rest of the page, check out some of the features and the benefits, and when you're ready, click the button down below this video and you will have instant access to InstaBuilder 2.0. Guys, I want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you for hanging in there. We had a lot to cover, and there's still a lot more for you to discover. On that note, on behalf of the InstaBuilder 2.0 team, I want to wish you all the best.